Hello guys, welcome back to Bullet Watch channel. Uh, today I want to review one of the most beautiful watches that have ever been released by Breitling. Uh, this in front of us, we have the Breitling B09 uh, from Breitling Premier Line. Uh, this one with a pistachio dial. Uh, the color of the, wa the, of the watch dial is pistachio, that's what they call it. Uh, it's a green, um, a very, very nice green, very sweet and um you can you can see how how beautiful it is okay uh in my opinion okay i think this is one of the nicest green dial that i have ever seen in the market because it's so unique nobody may nobody uh nobody have this uh this color uh, besides brightling uh so yeah guys let's get started with the review because i have quite a lot of things to cover uh, from this watch okay so first let's talk a little bit about the dimension of the watch the watch is 40 millimeter so it's um it's a nice modern size which can be worn by any wrist size in my opinion uh if you have uh, six inches 6.5 inches seven even 7.5 inches wrist i think you'll be able to wear this one just fine uh this one is not too big and it's not too small it's a nice modern size at 40 millimeter uh the thickness is 13.7 millimeter which is actually about the same as Speedmaster. Uh, so in terms of proportion i think the proportion is very beautiful because you got 40 mil and 13.7 millimeter uh in thickness uh this one in terms of proportion i think um it's actually i would say it's gonna wear about the same as Speedmaster, but this one will wear a little bit thicker okay and why i say that because Speedmaster is rated at 42 millimeter but then <laughs> anybody who have who have worn a uh, speedmaster they will they will tell you that uh you know like me i used to own speedmaster i can tell you uh it, they, it's it's rated at 42 millimeter but it's actually uh it's gonna wear like 40 mil which is gonna be like this okay and the thickness of speedmaster is about 13.7 the same as this one 13.7 to 14 millimeter um in thickness but then speedmaster the uh the, the 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 case design is not gonna be like this you know they they have like a step uh case but this one is uh is a little bit flat so uh this one is gonna wear a little bit thicker due to the case design uh but then in terms of proportion it's gonna be very similar to speedmaster so if you if you like speedmaster if you own speedmaster and you want to spice things up maybe you get tired with speedmaster or mega speedmaster because it's too common uh, or you want you want something that's more exciting you can consider this one because it's gonna wear about the same as your speedy and then um, so that's a little bit about the proportion uh, let's talk a little bit about dial the dial is very nice okay it has no date uh, very simple dial with a two uh, sub register and this one uh, can measure up to 30 minutes uh, of time uh, because this is a chronograph right so if we activate the chronograph uh, it, it can it can measure like how long the time has lapsed and uh, this one has 30 minutes uh, time uh, 30 minutes uh, time uh, so, uh, the, the, the time here uh, so it can measure up to 30 minutes okay that's what I want to say and um, and also uh yeah it's simple dial has no date and uh, it's very beautiful okay and if you just look at it briefly uh it's gonna look similar to uh patek 5172 uh i know patek 5 it's not exactly the same i mean it doesn't it doesn't look exactly the same like patek philip but then uh if you just look at the you know the the, the dial the uh, you know how simple it is and everything you know the dial is quite similar to Patek Philippe okay but of course like um, Patek Philippe dial I, I believe it's uh, I don't know I haven't seen it in person but I believe that uh, it will be it will be you know it'll be nicer but then we're talking about a watch that costs you know like 10 times maybe 15 to 20 times more expensive than this one and then uh let's talk so we, we have already covered the the dimension the proportion which i think is beautiful now let's turn to the movement the what is inside the uh this this watch okay the, the what is inside this watch is actually the brightling b09 movement which you can see is actually very very pretty and very beautiful okay uh the b09 brightling call it uh b09 movement is actually the same as their 
B01 movement, uh, the in-house movement from Breitling, which was developed and was released back in 2009. So it's an old movement, but it's very reliable, very robust, uh, very nice. Uh, it's really, really uh, appreciated and respected by uh, watch geek and watch community. Okay, I really love Breitling movement. I think they make such a good movement, B01. Uh, but then with the B01, because it's automatic, it's covered by the rotor. But then this one is B09, uh, which is actually the same as their B01, but then it's manual wind. And because it's manual wind movement, you can see like it's totally uncovered by the rotor. So it allows you to actually enjoy the full movement, you know, like without any blockage like it, nothing blocks it okay so so you don't get um the view is is it's not obstructed so it's very very nice as you can see it looks really nice i think it looks uh, nicer than the the speedmaster movement uh in the sapphire version okay where you can see the movement uh so yeah and the and the watch uh, and this watch is 100 meters water resistant so uh, you don't really have to, I don't, I mean, me personally, I don't really like to swim with my chronograph. Uh, but this one, because it has 100 meters water resistance, uh, technically, you can swim with it if you want to. But I don't really recommend it because at the end of the day, this is a chronograph. It's a complex movement. Uh, so, you know, I'm just afraid, like, if you swim with it and then you accidentally push this chronograph you activate the chronograph function then i think the water will start to get inside the watch where, which you want to avoid at all costs because it's going to be very expensive once uh, the movement get damaged by the water so i don't really recommend you to swim with a watch uh, with this watch uh, but then technically speaking just you know i just want to tell you that technically speaking you can because it's rated at 100 meters uh in terms of water resistance okay as long as you don't activate your chronograph function chrono pusher uh, inside the water i think you'll be just fine okay but uh what i like the most uh from a chronograph like this that has a little bit of a uh, little bit uh, uh, li uh little high water resistance is because i don't really feel so scared you know if i go outside you know i catch the rain i don't really have to be afraid that it will damage my watch uh, so that's what I like about it, that it has slightly higher uh, water resistance, you know, compared to the competitors, you know, which normally for chronograph, they have like 30 meters water resistance. Uh, but this one, 100 meters, I think it's a nice bonus. So yeah, guys, uh, we have a very, very nice chronograph from Bradley. I think Bradley really, really hit the, um, you know, hit the park with this one. They they totally, uh, I think they, they, they win. They, they really, really when in terms of design in terms of color they they really hit uh you know the park with with everything of everything about this watch is just very nice in my opinion okay uh the the movement is nice it's manual wind so it allows you to bond with the watch by winding it every single day it it has 70 hours of power reserve so it, it can you know it will it will stay on for three days uh so it's it's actually quite long three days uh, and I like it. I mean, you know, manual wind watch, um, you, know, you don't really have to worry about power reserve because you just wind it. I mean, you know, how hard it is. I mean, automatic, I don't really like it because I got to wear it. If I don't wear it, it will die. But manual wind, that's not the case. You just have to wear, you just have to wind it, you know, a little bit every single morning and it will just run, keep on running uh, nonstop. So I like that. So yeah, guys, uh, it's a very nice chronograph. So all in all, all I can say is this. If you like a chronograph, you're in the market for a chronograph, you want to buy one, consider this one. I think this is a lot more interesting than Speedmaster because Omega Speedmaster is very, very common these days. And I also feel that this one, uh, in terms of movement, I think it's more advanced because it has a column wheel uh, chronograph. Uh, compared to the Speedmaster, which which is only cams in terms of the mechanism, so the Chrono Pusher is going to be softer. Uh, it's going to be more pleasing to use yeah, on this one. Uh, and also, uh, I, what I like most about this one is how simple the dial is. It's very elegant, kind of look like Patek Philippe, like I told you before. And uh, you may you may disagree with me, but uh, that's I, what I personally feel. And it has a very beautiful proportion, 40 mil, 
40 millimeter and thickness of only 13 millimeter so yeah it's it's perfect it's, it's really really perfect uh nice proportion nice movement very beautiful looking movement uh uh, it has a better movement than Omega Speedmaster and this watch is also not too expensive. We're not talking about Daytona price uh, This is gonna be priced about the same as Speedmaster uh, outside uh, And yeah, so I, I think I think this is a winner. I mean, this is really really a nice watch from uh, Breitling, so if you like chronograph if you want to add one in your collection uh, consider this one. I really recommend it 100%. I think it's very very nice. Uh, the dial is very simple, very elegant, and the color is very unique. Uh, yeah, that's all from me. And um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short review, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.